So I don't just feel the universe. I don't just think the universe. I try to actually live the universe. So I have a collection of ties, all inspired by cosmic themes. I just have some that are not cosmic themes because sometimes you need it at the funerals, okay? You wear it for that. But the rest, I've got moons and planets and star fields. When I reach for a tie, it's part of me trying to spread my love of the universe to others. Each morning I put on a tie. Oh, actually, I have a tie that is all manner of things of the universe just kind of modeled up and down the front. What's good about it is it's spaghetti sauce proof. If you spill something on it, it's just another nebula because there's other stuff there that could just fit right in. I don't have to worry about spilling something on it. My favorite ties are those that bring forth artists' accountings of these cosmic phenomena. I don't want photographs on the tie. I don't need that. I don't want that. I want the consequence of a designer being influenced by majestic images of the universe. I want the tie that comes out of that mind. I like my vest because it's the universe, and the vest is bigger than a tie. Maybe if there was a sport coat that had moons and planets on it, I would wear that. But then people might just think I was a clown. They might still think I'm a clown even with the vest. So the vest goes under the jacket. And so you see little pieces of the universe depending on how I turn. I like to think the universe is sort of leaking out. So I like wearing the vest just because it speaks the universe even when I'm not. <laughs> <laughs>